Hi everybody, this is Steve Olson, Manager of Training Services for Mesa. In this video, I'd like to take a look at Vault's Project Sync. Recently, I was working with a customer that was about to start a collaborative project with another company. And in the past, this specific company had used Vault Professional and Replication to share a Vault with an outside partner. In this case, they were kind of looking at maybe a different approach for some reason and wanted to look if there was a way to collaborate without using replication. And they've already got Vault Professional, and that's when Project Sync came up. It's a really neat way to collaborate using Vault Professional and the cloud. And I want to show you how easy it is to set up. So here I am in the Vault. First thing is I need to make sure that my Vault is set up to enable the job processor. So under integrations here, you can see I've got enable job server, also called the job processor. The reason that's enabled is that this is what will then synchronize the files from the vault to the cloud. Once I have that enabled, I also need to go back into the administration under the vault settings and go to collaborate here and make sure I have a file or a folder set up to synchronize. So this is a folder synchronization process that happens here. So what I'm going to do is I have this clamp folder here. I'm going to map it to a folder that I have on the cloud. So let me quickly bring over here my my collaborative environment so you can see where that looks like as well. So just let me bring that over. Project Sync utilizes the Fusion Team website or cloud storage. So this is a little bit different than a regular Fusion account. A regular Fusion account, you have the files associated to your personal account. This one is more of a shared pool, and then we give access to individualized users. So what I need to do is I need to have the folder created first. So in Vault, I have this clamp folder. So in my cloud storage, I need to make sure that I have that uh, a folder set up for that to go to. So I'll create a new folder here. I'll just call it clamp2. That way all the terminology is kind of the same and I don't get confused later on. So you can see there I've got my clamp folder. So I'm going to go back over to vault. I'm going to set up that mapping. So I'm going to say i got a new mapping to create. I'll call it clamp. Again, just trying to use the same folder name across all of these. That way there's less to get confused by. So I'm going to call the folder clamp. I need the vault folder which I have a pretty clean vault here, just a, a test environment to kind of show how this works. That's why there's not a whole lot here. So this clamp folder has everything related to that project. Then I need to come down to my cloud drive folder. You can see I have access to, to projects in different hubs. This one's under my Mesa. There's project sync was his name of that project in the Mesa hub. And there's that clamp folder I just made a second ago. So just kind of look at some other the things I've got here. So I got enable manual sync, which is that will allow me to kind of push and pull as needed. I can also schedule sync uh, folder sync, and I'll do that as well, just to kind of make sure uh, we have something set up. So I'm going to go ahead and create this. I'll just call it clamp. Oh, no, not calling it clamp. I got to pick out the clamp folder. You can see upload to cloud, download, bi-directional. I'll do bi-directional. And I'll apply to selected action on the subfolders as well. So it's mapping that. It's bi-directional. From the schedule, I can have it do it at a specific time every day, every so many hours. Let's do every so many hours. And you'll see here I can't go any less than 8. That's kind of just the way the software is set up. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. I'm going to say Close. I'm going to close this. Now, one other thing needs to happen is I need to have the job processor set up and running because that's what's going to then cause the process to synchronize. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my job processor is launched, ready to go. I'll find that underneath my start menu, data management, my job processor for Vault 2020. You can see here it's idle. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll pause it and resume it just to kind of see if everything is set up and running. There is a, a pulling process here or a pulling process that 
it's set up to look for tasks every so often. Um, I may not have actually set anything to happen here because I set up the sync, but I didn't cause it to manually sync. So it might be waiting eight hours to do that. So if I minimize this, I'll grab this folder here. I'll grab these files. And I'll tell it to upload to the cloud. You can see here it's telling me that it's going to synchronize that. I'll tell it to upload. And now you'll see that it's transferring those files. And in a moment here, once it's done, I'll go over to that location and verify that they're there. So now I'm back over to my Fusion Team store, cloud storage. You can see I've got my clamp folder now. And I've opened it up and there's all the files that go into it. Now, realistically, to use this on the end user side of things, you could just download, upload files as you worked on them. But there is another layer or another tool that's connected to all of this that will make the life or your life easier. So underneath my little profile picture up here, there at the bottom is this install desktop connector for Fusion. So basically there is this extra desktop connector that will get installed on your local machine and it will then synchronize this folder or all your projects actually in your, pro in your uh, Fusion team down to your C drive. And just to show you what that looks like, so here's why my, my windows, you can see I actually have this BIM 360 team, this drive and this Fusion 360. This is what uh, that desktop connector installs and it will synchronize these. So if I go to Fusion 360, you can see now there's my hubs, there's my Mesa, Project Synced is the name of that project and there's that clamp folder inside of it. So now I could actually utilize this as uh, where, what the files I work on and the desktop connector will then synchronize those. So you can see here, I actually have even created an inventor project file that will utilize that. So now I'm all set up, ready to go. It's not that difficult of a process. So uh, hopefully you can be able to create that, th this setup on your own. I want to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you found the information useful and you can be able to implement it. If you have any questions at any time, feel free to email me at my email address on the screen. And again, thanks for watching.